Well, greetings, saints. Today we're looking at Psalm 54. It's an interesting psalm. It's inscribed in this way. It says, To the chief musician with, a, with stringed instruments, a contemplation of David when the Ziphites went and said to Saul, Is David not hiding with us? And so it tells us, uh, gives us some instruction for the musicians as they sing the song, uh, but it also tells us a little bit about the background of the psalm and what was going on in David's life. It turns out that there were two occasions uh, when he had some uh, problems with the Ziphites. Uh, the first one is 1 Samuel chapter 23. Um, and what happens there is David is hiding in the wilderness of Ziph, and uh, the Ziphites uh, basically betray him. They turn him into Saul and uh, let, uh, let Saul know that David's hiding there. Uh, David has to run for his life, and he, uh, there's a bit of a chase that, uh, that ensues. Um, and in some ways, I think what's significant about this psalm as I read it is this idea of, of betrayal. Uh, David, in some ways, he's not, he's not bothering anybody. He's, uh, in some ways, he's trying to do his best to, uh, to just keep his head down. Uh, he's certainly not disturbing uh, the people of Ziph that we can tell, um, but they turn around and betray him. Um, and I think what, what we're seeing here is a, uh, a deep, deep cry from that place of betrayal uh, something that although we, we don't like to experience, probably all of us at some point or other have, uh, have experienced it. We feel like we've, we've been betrayed. Out of that, uh, David cries out, Save me, O God, by your name, and vindicate me by your strength. Hear my prayer, O God, give ear to the words of my mouth. For strangers have risen up against me, and oppressors have sought after my life. They have not set God before them. And then he declares this, uh, just a word of faith comes out of him. Behold, God is my helper. The Lord is with those who uphold my life. He will repay my enemies for their evil. Cut them off in your truth. I will freely sacrifice to you. I will praise your name, O Lord, for it is good. For he has delivered me out of all trouble, and my eye has seen its desire upon my enemies. Uh, David is in trouble. Uh, again, he's been betrayed. Uh, there's deep emotion we experience whenever we, we feel like we've been betrayed. Uh, but David has this confidence. Interesting, he says, uh, the Lord is with those who uphold my life. Uh, there were those who actually had helped David at different points along the way in 1 Samuel chapter 23. Before the uh, Ziphites betray him, he had an interesting encounter uh, with Jonathan. Jonathan basically in 1 Samuel 23 proclaims to David the call of God upon his life, uh, that David will be the next king. Um, and don't you know that was encouraging, that was emboldening to David. David, If you read 1 Samuel chapter 23 starting in verse 14 through the end, uh, chapter uh, thir uh, 23 verse 29, you can read the full story of David's escape from the Ziphites. Uh, but for now, let me just say this. Uh, in those times when you feel like you've been forsaken, in those times you feel like you've been even betrayed, God wants to lift you up. Turn to him. Ask him to vic vindicate you. Don't, uh, don't try to seek your own vindication, uh, but ask the Lord to vindicate you. So even when you feel that deep, deep pain of betrayal, whatever it might be that caused it, uh, turn to the Lord. God bless you, saints.